Hey everyone, we're in August. Gotta look back at July though and walk you through my favorites from the month of July and what a month it was. Obviously there was a big sale going on that's still going on, the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and that was a lot of fun and hopefully still is for some of you. But for me, the highlight, the number one favorite, and I'm jumping across categories because normally I start with beauty, but the number one favorite for me has to be the launch of this guy. Or is it a girl? Because its name is Marnie. And unless you haven't been watching me at all, then you know that this is the Marnie Satchel done in collaboration with Gigi New York. The handbag that I designed literally from the ground, the little brass feet, all the way up to these top handles. And right now I am carrying her in the bone color. And I didn't get fancy, I just kept the coordinating strap on there. So by and large, the favorite. And jumping ahead to viewer favorites from last month, it is trending very largely there as well. Enough of that. Let's go into the usual categories. I will start with beauty. I have a few things in front of me. Let's start with what's on my face and on my eyes. I've gotten a lot of compliments on my eye makeup when I use this as eye makeup. It is the Lorac Pro Sculpting Palette. It comes with this handy dandy sculpting brush and inside you have six colors, and I will admit I almost never use the top row, but the bottom row is the contouring. We have a light contour, a medium contour, and in the middle is the deep contour. There it is, up close and personal. Most of the time, I'm using the light contour on my face. Occasionally, if I'm trying to match the fake tan that is not going on right now, then I can jump into the medium. But I also use all of these on my eyes, and I am using them today. I use the light contour as the transition shade, deepen the crease a little bit with the medium contour, and then to just kind of really deepen that outer corner, I'll go in with the deep. You can blend it out, sheer it out a lot, or really build it up. I went with a lighter hand today. And then I do use the beige highlight on my brow bone. And the bronzer I have been loving is this one from Tarte. It is their waterproof. Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. Packaging is really cute as well. Why I love this so much, you can build it up and make it really deep if you want to. I have not done that today, obviously, but when they say waterproof, they are not kidding because I wore this to the 38 Special concert we went to in July, and it was so, I don't think I've sweated so much in my entire life. It was in the upper 90s, the humidity was super high, and I was wearing this bronzer and it didn't budge. It didn't run down my face when I came home at the end of the evening, full face of makeup in place. This bronzer is amazing. The other product on my eye that I wanna tell you about is this. I've been wearing this paired with the Lorac Pro Palette. It is one of the Armani eye tints. I've talked about this before. It just sits in my makeup drawer, specifically in the shade Halo number 56. Here it is on my eye. Now, I'm not sure when this video is actually going up, so if it hasn't already happened, make a note. There are daily beauty deals throughout the last week or so of the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, and one of those deals involves the Armani eye tints. I can't remember if it's 20 or 30% off. I'll put the specifics down in the description box. If that hasn't happened yet, I highly recommend picking one of these up, especially at 20 to 30% off. It has a really nice, very pointed and slightly angled doe foot applicator so you can really use it to draw exactly where you want it on the lid get into the inner corner underneath yeah wherever you want it it dries down very quickly it doesn't smudge it doesn't smear and it comes off with normal eye makeup remover or soap and water you don't need anything special so i love these little eye tints i completely forgot to tell you about one of my absolute favorites from the month of july in beauty and it's a drugstore find it's a new to me eyebrow marker instead of a brow pencil and it's from the brand NYX. It's their Lift and Snatch. I have it in the shade Ash Brown. It is, you know, pretty typical felt tip pen type thing and I mean, I barely had to press to get that to go on, which is what I really like. The other one I have that I enjoy, it's from Milani, but you really have to push down. There's not a lot of pigment and I feel like if you're in a hurry, and you just wanna get your brows on and quit messing with it, this one, I've been using it for like the entire month of July. 
This one is far superior. I love this. And that it's drugstore, even better. The last favorite for me in beauty is this lip combo. So first, this is not new to me. It's a Laura Mercier lip liner, and I think the shade, yes, Hazelnut Tea. It's a really nice neutral lip liner, but it's more of a warmer, um, kind of more on the brick side of nude right there. It's not pink. It's not red, it's somewhere in the middle there. And then this I picked up during the anniversary sale. I'm sure you're sick of hearing that phrase. I'm sorry, we're almost done. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown lip duo that you can get in the sale. And the lip stick, it's the crushed lip color. It's in the shade Cezanne Nude. And I would have never reached for this. I'm so glad I saw it and just said, you know what, let me give it a shot. It's the perfect warm nude. Normally, I go for more pinky, cooler tones, more bright pinks, and this is so different from what I normally get, and I love how it looks, and it, it's kind of chameleon-like. I wear it with more autumnal colors, rusts and browns, and I've been wearing it with soft pinks, and it just seems to be more chameleon-like and will go with whatever you're wearing. And then I've been topping it with the crushed oil-infused gloss that came with it in the shade Free Spirit. So that's the gloss that I just pair over it. It just makes everything last longer. Speaking of autumnal colors, generally I steer away from them. I mean, obviously it's summer, so I don't really wear those colors. And, I, and I've joked before on my channel that the difference between my spring, summer tank tops and t-shirts and my fall, winter tank tops and t-shirts are the color palette because the weather is pretty warm here almost year round. So pastels and more brights from spring into summer and then more neutrals and more autumnal colors in fall, winter. Well, I picked up this tee, or blouse, I guess it is, made by Madewell, I'm gonna do it again, in the anniversary sale, and I got so many compliments when I went on stories wearing it, and when I posted it on um, Instagram, and I love it. I love how the color plays with my skin tone. It's not a color I would normally ever reach for. I have nothing in that color palette in my closet, and I really am enjoying it. So. I'm not waiting for fall to wear it. It's a tee, it's a, tea, it's a short sleeve shirt, so I'm wearing it right now. But, well, not right now, because I'm wearing this, but I'm really enjoying it. Yes, it's in the sale, and um, I think I'm done with referencing sale items, so we can move into the rest of my favorites. So the rest of my favorites in clothing include these wide leg crop jeans from Levi's that I bought from Walmart. I don't know if they're carried elsewhere, if there are other places, other retailers that carry this exact piece of clothing, I will link it below in the description box. I love the cropped look, I love the wide leg, I love wearing jeans. If I could wear jeans year round, I would, and these I can because the fabric is really lightweight, they're really stretchy, they're clearly not 100% cotton, and because they're cropped and wide leg, there's some airflow, they don't feel heavy and thick and hot like other jeans could if you're wearing them in the middle of summer, like say a pair of skinny jeans. So I love them. They're super, super soft. Obviously the price point is a big seller as well. And I, I just, I love them. And I got them in my true size, uh, size four, but they are really stretchy. So if you're a little bit worried, I would say currently I'm trending toward the higher end of a size four. So if you run on the lower end of a size four, you can definitely size down and they will still fit you just fine. We should mention this. Big favorite, again, I went with a color that you can obviously wear spring. So there's no rules on the colors, let me be very clear. You can wear whatever color you want, whatever time of year it is. But obviously we associate certain color palettes with different seasons. And pastel pinks and pastels in general are usually thought of as spring, but when you bring in more of a dusky tone like this one, then it moves itself into fall. So I feel like this is just a very versatile color. To be honest, when I went to order this shirt on Amazon, the color I really wanted was just white, um, but it was back ordered. And so I just, I wanted the shirt. So I was looking through 8 million color options that they offer. And I really like this dusty rose pink color. Obviously would also go really well into fall, would be great under a cardigan. I look forward to those days, but we're still in the 90s for a good long time. Absolutely loving this shirt. I love all the little details, the kind of crocheted lace at the neckline and down the middle. There's no buttons, it's not a button down. And even around the arms, it's just a really lovely little fun blouse. 
and obviously very affordable. Next, I'm counting this as clothing because I've been wearing this more than actual clothing, are these cotton poplin pajamas. You've seen me talk about them before, or heard me talk about them before. I love them and this may be obvious to a lot of you, but these are 100% cotton and wearing all natural fabrics definitely has its advantages. So even though this is long sleeved and pant length, they're just as cool as my cool nights pajamas and they're fun and I like the crisp feeling. I like crisp poplin sheets on the bed as well. So if you're not into that feeling, you may not like these. They're not like super soft like the Soma Cool Nights pajamas are, which are an equal favorite. Full disclosure, I'm actually still wearing the pajama pants. Wait, let me just stay. Behind the scenes. Many times, by the way, when I am filming, I'm fully dressed, but right now I'm not, so. <laughs> There you go, I didn't even bother tying them. I'm wearing the pajama pants. Oh, and they have pockets. Okay, so a little behind the scenes, peek behind the curtain. It's not always good to see how the sausage is made. Anyway, these are so comfortable, you don't wanna take them off, and I love them so much. I just ordered another pair that should be here any day. I'll insert a picture of what color I picked. I'm so excited. Anyway, I love these, and I feel like they could easily be worn into the cooler months as well. I know this because I wore them in the cooler months. Okay, and the last item in clothing that's a favorite, stretches as far as a piece of clothing, but if you spend a lot of time at the pool or the beach, it is, and it's the swimsuit cover-up. I love it. I think I wanna get another one in another color. I went with the beige because I just figured it would go with everything, but if beige is not for you, this is Amazon. There are a ton of colors. Black would be great as well. I just wanted something that would go with all of my swimsuits and I have them in so many different colors. So beige it is. And even though it's just tons of little holes, it covers you up very nicely. It's a one size fits all. I can assure you it really does. I have friends who are almost six feet tall who wear it. I'm five foot four, fine on me. And it's soft and it's nice enough that I would wear it to like a poolside restaurant or something like that and feel completely covered in it. I love it. All right, let's move on to accessories. Obviously the Marnie satchel would be number one for my favorites. Next is one of the most requested items as far as like DMing me for a link and these sunglasses. Now you've seen these before. This was the first pair that I picked up and I, I just like the really light tint on the lenses. Obviously I like the shape as well. They're a square-ish aviator kind of style. But then I went back because I wanted to see what else they had and I picked these up and these are so fun. I don't know how well this is coming across on camera. Speaking of which, you can see my camera in the lenses. But these are a very pale pink mirrored lens and then the frame is actually silver. It goes with my outfit right now. So I love these as well. There are quite a few other options. I'm not gonna lie, I may end up ordering another of the color options. I think these are so fun. Couple of Kendra Scott accessories worth mentioning. July is big on USA Pride. Obviously we started off the month with the 4th of July and then we ended it with the Olympics and so lots of red, white, and blue and stars and things like that. And so I've been wearing this necklace a lot. It comes in other color options. This is the carved J necklace, I believe. They originally launched the star line with more of the smaller druzy stone type inserts and I have one of those as well. But I'm really loving this. I love the necklace that comes with it. It's got some really neat little beaded detail and then I just love this star that you can wear. Not just because it's the 4th of July or you're cheering on the USA in the Olympics, but just because it's a nice pretty shape and it goes with everything. And then this is one of their newer releases that I've been wearing a lot and I really enjoy. I'm getting back into statement necklaces and this is quite the statement. I've shared it a little bit on Instagram as well. First of all, I just like this sound. I know I'm being silly, but I really like that. And I love that it's a statement piece, but it's super lightweight because a lot of these statement necklaces can feel really heavy around the neck. It has somewhat of an adjustable chain, so you can choose how long or short you want it, like to adjust it. I do believe it comes in like a color as well, like red, but usually with my statement pieces, I try to go with something pretty neutral so I can get a lot of wear out of it. And that's why I chose the gold. The last accessory I wanna talk about, I'm actually wearing, so I will put a picture of it over here, but you can see a little bit. Oh, you can see pretty well here. This is the newest addition to the Soma Endless bra line, my favorite bras, basically the only bras that I wear, if I can help it. 
And for those of you who really love the endless wireless bralette, which is just a pull over your head bra with no underwire, and but a nice reinforced band underneath so it lifts everybody up, but if you wanted a real bra type with a bra closure, this is the perfect hybrid for you. Plus, look at this pretty, it's like laser cut out in the straps. They go all the way around to the back as well, I think. But the cups, I'm just checking, but the cups are the same as you can see it obviously over here. But anyway, I love it. I love that you can adjust the strap a little bit. So for those of you who weren't sure if you're getting the exact correct fit with the band, with the bralette, you'll love this one. And just for reference, I'm normally a 34D and I'm wearing this in a size medium. All right, lifestyle favorites. Don't have a lot, but I could talk for a long time. The first, there's some profanity here. Um, so if you have any little ones around that can read, distract them right now. So. I love checklists. I love writing things down. I always have a to-do list going. Most of the to-do lists that I find have the um, sticky stuff on the back. I don't really need that. I just want something I can tear off, use like a notepad. So I saw this on Amazon. Yes, it says exactly what you think it says. I find it hilarious. Some people may find it offensive. Don't buy it. It has the square so you can tick off your list. As you go through it, it's thin paper, it's tear off, there's nothing on the back to stick it to anything. It's just a nice fixture that I have sitting on my desk and so that I can get stuff done. So that's number one. It just makes me smile, okay? I mentioned this in Amazon Favorites or an Amazon haul, I think in July, and I'm really enjoying it a lot. I know it seems silly, but it's the little things that generally make me happy. This magnetic trash can that's sitting on the side of my dryer. You don't need a giant trash can in your laundry room, generally speaking. And the set came with this little brush that has lint on it. You put in the dryer vent or in the lint trap to just really make sure it's all clean and I just keep it like that. And then it also comes with this other magnetic holder that you can put anything in it. You could put loose socks, you could put loose change. I put my dryer sheets in there and the added bonus, oh, it smells so good. The added bonus of that is since they're not sitting in a box in a cabinet, but they're out, is it scents the whole room and makes it smell very nice. Okay, my gluten-free friends. One of the things I used to love was this tricolore orzo pasta salad recipe from Giada De Laurentiis. It's orzo pasta or any kind of really tiny pasta with, her version has dried cherries. I use dried cranberries, chopped feta, basil, lemon juice, olive oil. It's so refreshing. And for those of you who hate pasta salads with a lot of mayonnaise, this, there's no mayonnaise. It's just really light and refreshing and it's lovely in the summer. And I will include that recipe down below. While there are a lot of gluten-free pasta options, finding the little tiny ones, almost impossible. I found these on Amazon. I have a little bit of one package left. It comes in a pack of two and it's from Delalo. I want to say it's imported from Italy and it's gluten-free orzo pasta and it looks, tastes, and feels exactly like the regular kind. So excited to find these so that I can make my favorite pasta salad again. And then the last lifestyle favorite for July 2021 are my new dining room chairs that, it's through that archway, but you really can't see them. I'll insert a picture. Wayfair was having a sale. It might have been a July 4th sale. I can't remember, but I have been wanting to replace my dining room set for a while, and we're just doing it piece by piece. So I bought a set of six of these chairs to replace the chairs on the side, and I love them. They're very classic. They're not gonna go ever go out of style, I don't think, who knows, but I love everything about them. And they were on sale, so I snatched them up. I took my kitchen chairs. I don't know if you can notice that the chair here is different. I took my kitchen chairs. Those are going bye-bye to a friend, but I took the head chairs from here and I stuck them in there for now. And then the chair I'm sitting on is one of my dining room chairs. These look a little bit better. They go better actually with my kitchen table. So just like you care. But the plan is I want to find a new dining room table. I have my eye on one. I'll, I'll put the link down below to the one I'm looking at. If you want to check it out and give me your feedback, I'd love that. And then once I get a dining room table, I'm going to order new head chairs for the dining room. And then ultimately, hopefully later this fall, I'm going to replace my full kitchen dine, breakfast table and chairs. Just kind of slowly changing things out here. So it's a process. And also I want to change the light that's above my head that's not on. Okay, anyway, that's a whole other video. I'll do home updates as I have something to tell you. But back to my favorites, the dining room chairs. 
Restoration Hardware makes a version of that. I mean, they're a classic chair. It's not, it's not a Restoration Hardware design, but if you want to spend buku bucks, you get them from Restoration Hardware. I mean, Ethan Allen carries them. Most furniture stores carry them, but I got mine from Wayfair. The only difference is I just screw the legs on myself. They didn't come fully assembled, but they're upholstered, they're comfortable, they're sturdy, and I love them. Okay, that's it for July favorites. Now we're in August, lots of fun things to talk about as we move in, so if you are not subscribed, please change that. It's free, it's fun. I would love for you to join the Gold Girl family. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you spending some time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.